right now, since there were some issues with the feed of the stereos, um, yeah, I pretty much had to design all of them new again. This one is pretty much the only one that was at least somewhat still uh, usable. Of course, the clips in here are a bit mangled up. But, yeah, the rubber coating and everything is a bit ruined. Somebody probably thought that there, were, that there were screws down in here and tried to pull them off, but then too late realized, oh, the screws are somewhere else. But, I've got the new design. It's pretty much identical to the other one. Only thing, we do not have any clips on there. We just have the circle in the middle and the two square pieces. Now these are only for support really and uh, this thing is to align it properly. But um, yeah, uh, since these are going to be glued in I'm not going to bother to design the clips for it. So let's go over to the MakerBot software and set everything up. Now I'm going to be needing eight of those. Um, I'm probably thinking to not print all eight at the same time, I'd rather just print four at the same time. For some reason the pin doesn't show up. What's happened there? Oh, apparently that still is a s it's not the same piece. All right, there we go. For some reason it didn't combine the uh, pieces to one thing. Let's center this, and let's make four copies, well, there we go, four pieces. These four will all be printed at the same time, I'm not going to print all eight again at the same time, because that's going to take a lot of time, and of course since these are a bit uh, fiddly things, I have to amp up the quality of the print a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna, just kind of going to standard. I usually print at a lower resolution because the results there are really good on the MakerBot. But on standard, yeah. Um, I'm just going to use the default there 10% infill and a raft. We're not going to need any supports, so that's alright. And this is the temperature I had uh, the best luck at printing, at least with my MakerBot. Okay, let's export this. And done. Okay, I'm going to do the print preview and have a look at how long it takes. 21 minutes, so that's not too bad. Alright, that has been saved. We can now remove the SD card from the iMac. And put that into our 3D printer. Alright, the SD card is in. Yes, I know I have to clean up the MakerBot a little bit. So, well, then let's get started. Come on, I just... There we go. Now I'm printing in uh, this color, it's PLA transparent, but um, yeah, trust me, that is not transparent. Some have said it is transparent, but it's more of a white-ish translucent. So it lets light and everything through, so yeah. I'm pretty much always printing in transparent, it looks a lot nicer. So yeah, while the printer is setting up, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. Those look pretty good. Time to get them off and uh, see if they fit. Alright, here's the stereo on its back, and here is one of the pieces. They do look pretty much like the other ones, like the original ones, but just a little bit different. They also have this slight angle on the bottom, but yeah, let's have a look if they actually fit. 
Now that is a bit of a tight fit, but there we go. Fits absolutely perfectly, sits on there almost straight. You can still adjust it a little bit. And yeah, that is uh, pretty nice. Yeah, that uh, pin in the middle maybe got a little bit too thick. But uh, yeah, other than that, it fits. So now just to glue all of them in place. Alright, the new feet are in place. There we go. All we gotta do now is flip the stereo around how it's supposed to be. And then, well, I'll just let the glue dry. Now that's gonna take a while since this glue uh, does take quite a bit to dry. But yeah. After that, these will be on there real, really tight. You can still get them off, but uh, not easily. But if you need to replace them because something broke or so on them, you can still get them off. And there we go, now you can also see it on the inside. Those fit really well in there. On all four places, this one is blocked by the PCB. But that one there should still be visible. Alright, this there is finished. Feet are dry, all four of them. And we have our sufficient space in the bottom. It fits also onto the uh, other ones where they have the special indents on the uh, case so where, where those feet go into. And I just printed four more for the other one. But uh, yeah, that still needs a bit of uh, cleanup. That unit right there, which has got all the dust and dirt and everything in there. But yeah, thank you for watching for this short feet repair video. <laughs>